us maybe on a late lunch hour welcome welcome come on in <laughs> if you have yarn grab some yarn you can sit and crochet while we chat today <laughs> but we just want to do some quick introductions i'm brianna of brianna k designs and i have michelle from mj's off the hook and hannah from hand jan crochet with me here today and of course we're talking about what went just went live on all of our blogs which is the free version of our hat mindful makes for fail on and if you're curious where any of those things are simply look in the description of this video and we have everything listed there also if you want to jump to where other information is there's a cute little qr code at the bottom of your screen right now and you can click that and you can get to our mindful page too and we're going to talk about that in just a minute but i also want to really quick say a really fun hello today we are live in the Mary Maxim community group for the first time ever. We are so excited to be invited in to host this crochet along in that Facebook group as well. So I know for that group, maybe you haven't seen our faces before. And so it's kind of like a hello, get to know you. And um, we're also live on our YouTube channels and in our Facebook groups. So hello to everyone who already knows us. Hello. <laughs> hello. Guys. Well, we want to say a quick special hello to the Mary Maxim community group. We're going to be posting in there this week. We are so excited to get to know you. Please comment on this video. Let us know if you're going to join in. And you know, I think we might need to ladies. I don't know how you feel about this, but I feel like we might need to like really intro what we're doing for those who have never seen our faces before and what we do. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Michelle, do you want to take it away with what this crochet along is? Yes. So this is this crochet along that we're doing is we called it the mindful makes crochet along because we just felt like these were nice mindful relaxing soothing stitches we didn't want this crochet along to be overwhelming for anyone we wanted it to be a nice relaxing enjoyable experience that we could all get together because you know we love getting together i love doing the crochet alongs with brianna and hannah um we love to be able to get together and chat and that's great for our mental health, right, girls? Like we just, you know, oh, yeah. we love spending time together, and we want to bring in our group, in our community groups, bring in our followers, and just do something that's really fun and relaxing together. So we designed this crochet along to have hats because we thought hats are a quick, easy project, not too stressful. It's small. All you need is one ball of yarn, which it's it's not a big investment, and we designed hats with different constructions as well. So you can kind of get a different, like if you like a top down or you like side across or you like a bottom up, whatever really suits your fancy, you could pick that hat. But also they have nice soothing textured stitches. So just kind of a little, I guess, overall of how it works is that we host the crochet along in our groups because everyone can get involved. You can post your pictures, you can ask questions, the community gets involved. We're in there to help you. We provide YouTube videos so you can go watch the videos on YouTube, engage in the group, and then we have put together a beautiful ebook with the three patterns that you can purchase so that you can download it, you can keep it, you can print it, or we also have offered free versions on our blog so that everybody can join in regardless. So now did I miss we just want to <laughs> What did I miss, Hannah? Nothing, I don't think. Like, that I was guess, amazing. I guess Literally. we could talk a little bit maybe about the yarn and why we're in Mary Maxim group. So maybe we can, you could touch on that, Hannah. Yes. So we have, we've all got our hats, I think, haven't we, with us? So we Me chose too. to use Hello Spun for this, which is a brilliant DK weight yarn. So category three weight yarn from yes. Mary Maxim. It's 100% acrylic, and it's really lovely and soft, isn't it? I, I mean, mm -hmm. I've used lots of acrylic yarns, but this actually is really lovely to work with. So really great for hats and accessories. Yeah. Um, and it comes in so many lovely colours as well, doesn't it? So we all yeah. we all went for like similar but not the same colour palette. Yeah, I've got the pink and soft grey, and the nice. Um, I think this one's buff. It's a great colour. I, I love like the buff. It blues and tans I, like, I had requests from my boys my boys wanted a blue and a brown so yeah those are great i love those color combos together hannah the boys the boys I, like them and i did 
and my brother wanted a grey one so I was like yep yeah, that's fine I'll do you a grey one so so yeah so like, whatever colours but they do have brights as well don't they I saw in the mellow spot like really nice brights so if that's yeah. your kind of gig they have a you huge know. selection of colors so you can find something that's going to suit and also they're in sizes from newborn all the way to like your men sizing adults so you can make a hat for everyone they can pick their color yeah it's you know here's a little baby one here so you can make one for everyone no one gets left out and unisex they're all unisex which again i love i've had yep. no people message me and say about that they're like oh i can't believe that you're all three like was that really intentional and i was like yeah like it wasn't really was it we kind of just went let's make hats and they all ended up being completely like size you know we can vary the sizes you can but anyone can wear them absolutely anyone can wear them yeah yes so we have a couple mm -hmm. questions here but first i want to highlight um here's the link for the yarn i just put a couple comments in there because so we really really work um really hard i guess you could say although like it's part of our job that we love with companies and with you know the crochet community to bring you the best experience possible and part mm -hmm. of that is um we really like to get cozy with companies and then they kind of like us back and then we get you something so yeah. <laughs> today we put we have an exclusive coupon code that i just put in the comments um if you don't follow our newsletters, sign up for those because we send out a lot of these things that are kind of exclusive that you may not hear about otherwise. But that is for the Mindful Cal, but it is off your entire order. So throw a ton into your cart um, and use the code Mindful Cal, C A L. And I put that in the comments to order your yarn because we have a couple questions about the yarn. Um, here's a question this is one from the UK Does it have to be that, that yarn? Oh, no, like you can use absolutely any yarn that you like. I would definitely mm -hmm. recommend if you haven't tried this yarn because Mary Maxim, they do ship to the UK. And I believe if it's over £40, your order, then you get free shipping. I think, don't quote me on that one, but I think it's something like that. Um, so if you haven't tried it and you don't, obviously it will take longer than the length of the crochet along to get it. But I would definitely recommend getting some to try it out. This is a great opportunity. Um, and I did also find out that um, you it's on offer anyway. Plus, if you use our coupon code, you get the 20% off the sale price, mm -hmm. which is like, I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. So, no, no, no. Really, really mm -hmm. goodbye because you're getting a lot of yardage on one of these balls. It's like 280 something. Let me double check it again. 284 yeah. yards on one ball. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd yeah. say if you're in the UK, like a really good equivalent to it is Paintbox um, DK. Uh, but yeah. then we all work with, we use, um, we crochet yarns as well, don't we? And Swish DK, they have a lot of DK options there. So there's loads of yarn companies that have, have this weight of yarn that would work really nicely. Yep. Burnett, and we um, talked a little bit last time about substitutions and we have some tips in the ebook about that. And so this is, if, if you've ever wanted to try yarn substitutions, this is a great crochet along to join in on. We may not go into depth on this live like we did last time about those substitutions, but we're going to be strolling around the community groups constantly. If you have any questions or you're not sure how to use the substitution, just reach out. Um, we have an amazing community to help you through that. It's, it's a, I feel like it's our number one question a lot. It's like, can I use this yarn instead? And sometimes it's yarn like I've never heard of, so it's hard for me to say, but I can, I can direct you to how to find out. Um, so that's one good thing, too. I want to show you, even if, so the main link we have for this crochet along, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on this window here. Is oh. our um, page that has all the information for the the mindful make along. So you can scroll down and see all these beautiful um, images. If you have any questions, uh, most likely it, the, it will show up on this post on where. But if you go to the very bottom, you'll see you can click here to check out that mellow spun yarn. So even if you've already grabbed the ebook, or even if you're not gonna do the ebook and you're gonna follow along with our blog post post come on over to this post because we're going to tell you two yarn choices that we think are fantastic for this crochet along and the reason why first off mellow spun you can click here to see all the colors um i wonder if i click nope because it, it went into another screen but click that so that you can see all the colors that are offered and then you'll notice that we have prism and the reason why we have prism is because you see on this left hand side here we have another amazing offer that's only available at checkout like if you click away you like you don't you don't add this to your cart before you check out you don't get this offer on its own it has to be added 
to your cart at the same time that you're doing the mindful make along um, hat collection. But notice some of these patterns, and we're going to show you this on screen, are made from Prism. Um, and we love that yarn as well, don't we, ladies? Definitely. Yeah, so pretty. It's so pretty. It looks like you do um, so much work to get this, but I'm only using two strands of yarn for this entire cowl. That's what's so um, crazy exactly. about it is, yeah, I love that one. It, mm -hmm. it does all the work for you in terms of color work. It makes yeah. it really pretty. I like the softer, mm -hmm. the softer um, color changes. It's not like too sharp of a color yeah. change. Beautiful. Um, it is one of my favorite color work yarns to work with, partly too, because it is washable. So if you wanted to make one in Melisbone or Prism, I find those are a lot friendlier for children. I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah. <laughs> Mine are awful. Like the, they'll, they'll like just everything sticky ends up I'm like how did something sticky end up on your head but I don't I wanted to throw it in the wash and be able to not worry about it yeah definitely <laughs> definitely and we said to you that we I definitely think the hats would look lovely in prism as well mm -hmm. me too I really yeah. do I almost need to make myself gorgeous. one although right now I'm using the fuzzy red heart um yeah. right now for a nice pink hat for me Yes, which that is also on Mary Maxim. So if you're curious to try the hat, we so when we were all together, if you didn't know this um, earlier this year, the three of us got to meet for the first time in person, which was such a huge treat. But of course, we had to go to a yarn store and we found this red heart brush. And we all were like, no, nah, it'll work great. We're just like, you know, just you try to go by memory for yarn. And we didn't have them in store to compare with us because we didn't bring our yarn with us. And we were like, this will work great. And then we all got homeless washed. We were like, no 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 maybe not it does not it does not gauge the same but then we thought that's okay because we're going to talk about um i have a page in the pdf that's um available for purchase that talks about this yarn specific and how to adjust these style of patterns not every pattern can you adjust but hannah's for sure mine yeah. isn't difficult to do you can adjust for a different yarn and you can see Michelle's making one for herself too. Yeah. And once again, come join our community groups or ask questions in the Mary Maxim community group. And we're going to be there to help you along. Feel free to tag us. Um, and we'll mm -hmm. answer anything that we can. I'm going to see if we have any more questions over here. Questions. There's, oh, there's a question there from Robin. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to go on about um, YouTube links and videos because that is the thing to say. So each of us have done a video that is in our, on our YouTube channel yeah. that walks you through the whole pattern. So even if you're a complete beginner, like you can definitely join in with us doing this because our videos go right from the very beginning. Yes, I must be way behind on comments here. Um, <laughs> I can see comments. Way Last week I couldn't see them, so I'm happy I can. I yeah, can. No, I Yes, I can see them this week, so that's good. So, so my, far, I'm going to say hi. My mother-in-law is watching. Hi, Joanne. So she came over and got Ooh. yarn from me this morning, and she I'm so excited. she wants to <laughs> yarn, and she was worried though. She said, "Is it um, is it too hard? Do you think it's going to be too hard for me?" And I'm like, "I don't think so. I think it's quite easy." And I said, "Look at Hannah's video. I pulled her video up for her, Hannah, while she was there. I'm just just Google handband crochet on YouTube." She'll come right up. You did. And we went through and she's like, oh, she's really detailed. And I'm like, yep, she is. Yes, she is. <laughs> yeah, I try to be really detailed with the videos and give you all little tips and tricks as we go through. I find all three of us are like that. And so whatever hat you choose, I think with the video tutorial, you can do it. You can just follow along with the pattern and the video and you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And as far as hand dyed yarn and which hat it would go with best, I honestly cannot answer that question because I think it's it's really a toss up is equal. Um, so mine is made from bottom up, Michelle's is top down, and Hannah's is side to side. So yeah. that might influence depending on the colorway you have, which way you want to go. But honestly, mm -hmm. I really think you can't go wrong with these hats in terms of you know which is going to show off uh, hand dyed yarn better. I really yeah. think. All of them do. I did one in a hand dyed yarn. I'm looking around because it's not on my desk. Mm -hmm. And I love the way it looked. It changes like the look of the color texture, if that makes sense. And it was really, really fun to do. Um, just use it. I mean, honestly, just use it. Sometimes I let my hand dyed yarn stick um, on the shelf for a bit too long. 
and I need to just use it. I'm bad. Right. Oh. It's too special. I know, oh. right? Sorry. Actually, yeah, mm -hmm. I can't touch it. I can't. <laughs> So this, so good, first off, good morning. That's amazing that you've already whipped out two waffle stitch hats and that you're going to make them all. Welcome to the crochet long. We cannot wait to see them. You may have already posted them. I might go search for it. I'd love to see your waffle hats if you haven't posted them yet. Mm -hmm. And just because we're one big community, we really do not care where you post. We just want to see it. Mary Maxim community group, my Michelle or Hannah's community group. You don't have to match whose hat to what group. We just want to see it. We want to see yeah. post in all of them. We don't care. We just love having fun yarn things in our feed, just like I'm sure you do too. Um, oh, someone said they just ordered a whole stash from Mary Maxim. It's Yay. like, there's a lot on there um, to like purchase from. Yeah. I love this. Their, their hometown does a homeless tree decorating. They decorate them with hats, scarves and gloves these hats will be perfect for them i will say yeah these can be a really quick project that if you have a charity you want to whip them up for definitely especially because all of these patterns come in size baby to large adult and are easily adjustable so that's the best part about these hats is like no matter if you want to make some you know for maybe newborns or you want to do some for a homeless shelter you know all the sizes in this hat pattern available to you and it's a really methodical stitch repeat Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, my my um, mum does the. I uh, don't know if you guys have a similar thing. Operation Christmas Child, I think it's called, where you make like a shoebox for children mm -hmm. who probably would be getting Christmas gifts, etc. And she always, she generally knits like hats and mittens and bits and pieces because they always want that that kind of stuff. Um, but she does it throughout the year, so she's always making hats and mittens, like whatever time of the year oh, it is. Oh, amazing! That kind of thing, wouldn't it? All right, so I'm going to Google this right now, if I can find my mask. Carnival yarn. Sounds like Dude, this is what I, I don't know. Oh, from Hobby. Okay. I don't know all the yarns all the time, so I'll just look at it. And, yes, it does look like, because it's a light where it's a DK weight, it would be very similar. That would also be very similar. The difference I see right off the bat is that, so this is 262 yards for $10.30. I think you're going to get, not to discourage you, definitely if you have some in your stash, it will work great. But I think if you want to, if you have a choice, A, we have a 20% off coupon to the Mary Maxim Prism. And for $5.99 right now, it is, I'm looking for the yardage here. Yeah, it's a bit more. I think it's $2.90. Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. So the Prism is a great value um with great colorways as well either one will work but if you want to grab the prism it's only it's like half the price plus a coupon code i just want to yeah. that. i'm all about a steal <laughs> yeah. i have i have like yarn sat in baskets and different things. like i just wait for the offers to come through and then like yes please <laughs> yeah so whoever posted this if they're not sure they're on the right page we're seeing your comment you're definitely on the right page we are sometimes we go live in different places so wherever you're commenting we're seeing it we're here you are in the right place you if you can see yarn on your screen you are in our <laughs> we're just we're, the crochet you. long started we're all crocheting hopefully you've grabbed your yarn and hooks and you can i mean and as you can see we're just crocheting away we don't even have to look at these patterns which is kind of always that's, you know, mindful stitches, right? So once you get the hang of the pattern, it's just repetitive. You're just working it. Yeah. yeah I say, like I think we talked about this, didn't we, when we were together? Like, I always like to have something on the go that I don't have to use any brain power for. Like just sometimes, yeah. like if you've had a hard day, you just want to like just chill out, just, just just literally escape from stuff. I just mm -hmm. want something I can just crochet and not think about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, like, it's lovely to do color work, isn't it? It's lovely to do complicated stuff, but so, oh, like lazy suit, but sometimes you just need to not have a yeah. kind of mental workout. And especially to even for those, you know, car projects or waiting at a dentist or the doctor or wherever, I like to be able to throw something like this in my purse wherever I go and then I can just pull it out when I'm waiting and yeah. Yeah, 
I know my husband, like he laughs at me quite often because I'm always crocheting in the car when he's driving and I don't notice things. So if I'm not crocheting, I'll all of a sudden be looking at the window and I'll be like, oh, like the house has been sided. <laughs> you know, he's like, yeah, like it's been sided for a while. <laughs> I'm like, I'm never paying attention. I'm always usually got my yarn with me and that's what I do in the car. Yeah. Me too. It's so yeah. relaxing. Mm-hmm. So relaxing. So yeah, um, let's see, is there anything else we need to recap? For one, we're just happy to have you join us. If you yeah. just joined us now on this live, we're talking about this um, mindful crochet along. There's two ways to join. You can click that QR code on the screen or the link in this description, mm-hmm. and you can get the downloadable printable PDF that's all of our patterns in one ebook. Or you can enjoy them on our blogs, which I've also put on this description, or you can go follow um, our websites or our social media posts for those um, links as well. But this morning yeah. we posted them free on our blogs. Those do have ads. So it's just whatever you prefer. The main thing is we want you to join in for the mindful crochet along because we all need to relax. I know for me, I just, I need some, like Hannah said, I need some zero brain power crochet sometimes because we use enough brain power the rest of the day. Yeah. yeah. Now we do have one other exciting thing to bring up that we haven't told people about. Yes. Yeah, so if you visit our blog, we also have a giveaway going on. So Mary Max. Shopping. Place. Yes. Mary Max <laughs> has been so generous and we, she had, they have, you know, graciously given us a gift card to give away. So all you have to do is go to our blogs and um, enter to win a hundred dollar gift card plus you'll also get the ebook and if you've already bought it we we refund and all that stuff so if you've already purchased it don't worry about that i was thinking that's a lot that's a lot of mellow spun isn't it that's a lot of yarn yeah that's all and like you can get yarn for all the hats and probably the the bump offer with the prism as well i really think you could especially yeah and like, I haven't made a huge amount with it, but like I know that you guys have. And Michelle, like you've got some beautiful blankets, haven't you? In Mellow's yeah, family. I have a blanket in it, and I we have another one that we're gonna start working on. I just that's Mellow Spun and actually Prism together <laughs> because Ooh. I um, love how the yarn colors change without the work. So I had to order a bunch just to start working on another blanket. But yeah, I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you haven't tried Mellow Spun, I definitely would. I've done a few things in it. Um, and the nice thing about it, too, I just finished a mosaic blanket in it, too. But like Michelle said, it's like you're, you're like doing some of the work and the yarn is doing some of the work for you. Because yeah. in order to like do color work and have a lot of different colors, a lot of times, like mm-hmm. for every single one of these stripes, I would have had to like fasten off instead of like I carried my yarn so mm-hmm. I don't have to worry about it. And then every single time you're working in here. Yeah. It's just such a nice color change that you do not have to weave in a ton of it. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it has a lot of yardage, so you're not like weaving in ends very often, even on I a know. paper project. I love that. And Brianna and I but, have kits on Mary Maxim site too. Like okay. Brianna has her mosaic blanket. I have my glistening glacier. It's done in starlit. It's done in a different yarn, but we have kits on there. So go check everything out. I have um, a hooded, the color block hooded cardigan. Oh, hang on. Maybe it was just in the, it could have been, sometimes I get confused because some of them are online and some of them are just in the catalog. So I think yeah. that was in the catalog, but you can go check out. They've got, yeah, they've got lots of gorgeous uh, Afghan kits on Mary Maxim. Yes. So um, yes, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll give everyone a sneak peek. I can't not. So this is <gasps> Prism. Hello, I know. They're so like, pretty. And that is, there are no ends. There has been no end yet because it's top down. So that's, that's the kind of stuff you can do with that's this. so gorgeous. It's beautiful, Hannah. It's beautiful. So, you know, you just want to order and just have it because there's going to be lots of patterns that you can use yeah. it for in the future. Yeah. Well, and if you don't get the Mary Maxim catalog, like if you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the catalog, it's free to get. So jump yeah. on over to Mary Maxim. You just enter in your address and then they'll start sending you the catalog. And yeah. maybe you'll start to recognize our names in that catalog as well. I, I think with the, the Mary Maxim crowd, which we're so excited to like put a face with a name for you now. Yeah. Um, 
you know, we've been with Mary Maxim for a while, but when you open a catalog, which you should just be seeing like the projects you want to do, it's just our names. And so like, it's really fun to connect with you and say, hi, like we're the designers behind that beautiful like kit that you bought. Um, we love getting personal, I guess you could say. We love um, what we do and, and like, we're not just here to be like a one-off transaction and like, oh, here and then I'm just a name to you. All of us want to be, um, crochet buddies like we love doing crochet we're passionate about it and that's why we're going live in the Mary Maxim group today so hello if you are like flipping through catalogs be sure to see if you see our designs in there we I know each of us will probably have more designs in catalogs this year or over on the Mary Maxim site we're not just a name we're people just like you so <laughs> we want to join you for a mindful crochet along um, definitely hit that QR code on the screen or any of the links that are in the description of this video to see a bit more. And then feel free to comment, say hello. We're gonna be introducing ourselves over in the Mary Maxim uh, community a little bit more this week. And then of course, if you're in our community groups, hey, hey, <laughs> we're back again. We love seeing you love the comments. We love seeing photos of your, your hats. Or like we've said before, we even love still seeing photos of the very first crochet along we ever did together. Yes. Um, and we still, there's still photos being posted in there of those hats that we did, the color work hats. So yeah, I have a catalog here. So this is always exciting because cool. Megan, she used to be in it when they had some of my hooded blankets in their catalog. But just recently, um, Aaron's in it. So he He's famous. He's famous now. Oh. So he's really excited. So, so yeah, he's in the newest catalog. So this is, I'm in Canada. So this is the Canadian one. And then I have also in there with the color block, the color block cardigan. So they do different, I didn't know this. So they do different magazines for different countries. Yeah. So there's they do two different that, catalogs. There is a website as well for Canada and US. So if you're in Canada, because I do get people asking that, of course, a lot too. They want to order um, from Canada because they don't have, you know, they don't then have to worry about duties and the exchange and all of that. So they do ship from Paris, Ontario. So not too far from me. I have been there. I have been to the Mary Maxim oh, cool. store. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to. I know Brianna's. I'm pretty sure Brianna, your mosaic lights in here too. Uh, I think it might be. Popped up here. Oh, sorry. Go for this one. Yeah. Okay. I so far, getting catalogued. Handed. No. Um, I, I have a harder time teaching someone left-handed in person, yeah. but I think just because, like, this is, I don't do it very often. But I, I can, like, if need be, I can actually flip and crochet left-handed for people very slowly. But I figure if you're teaching, it's fine to go very slow. Wow. <laughs> and I can show them in person. But for the most part, the easiest way to learn is just to flip the video. Yeah. So any video that crocheters do, they can just flip the view, and then it can be done. Like, that's what it would look like if it were left-handed. So it's not, it's not a huge difference to be honest, to teach someone. Um, oh, someone's drying out in sunny San Diego. California got hit hard with weather this week too. Um, oh, I love this. All right, so what's been our favorite projects? We've complete, completed, oh gosh, she's using the word completed. We don't like deadlines. <laughs> weaved in and everything, gosh. Uh... Oh, I know, I, you know what? I can show one just in case anyone's gonna order some Mary Maxim yarn today. <laughs> Um, I just, so I'm kind of updating a pattern because the yarn, it, it was originally and is no longer available. And Mary Maxim has this sunrise yarn. It's oh, super, yes. super soft and it's great. Um, it feels like more lightweight for summer. So I thought this would be, and I think Michelle has some of this too. I thought this would be a fun um, summer yarn. So it's, this is also on the website and this is a really, gorgeous. really easy, nice. really easy top. We're talking two squares or rectangles. Easy stitches, chains and single crochets. Mm -hmm. And um, so if you've never done a garment before, you've been scared. This one is coming up with an update for and a video. So yes. how easy is that, that you're just doing and then you have a nice summer top? Um, so if you're ordering yarn, <laughs> feel free to throw some uh, sunrise. sunrise in there as well. I mean, you already have a coupon code. You might as well throw some of this in there because this pattern will be updating on my blog in the next week or two. So mm -hmm. this would be 
my favorite thing I completed the last four weeks. All right. What about you, Michelle? I feel like we're on the spot here with like, did you complete a project? <laughs> did I complete? Oh my goodness. You know, I've done so many things. Oh my goodness. Like I've got so much on my plate. I did just finished carrots and you know, I got super excited and pumped about them. I have the garland behind me. So yeah, I, that probably has to be my favorite, even though I love everything I do. I just, I got so excited about doing them which was, yeah. it's fun when you get really, really excited about a project and you just like whip yeah. it out. And although I'm still having problems with Etsy guys, if anyone's wondering why the carrot really? farm isn't on Etsy. Oh, uh, what did they, did they respond to you? They, I, we're still, I'm still waiting. What, the, what happened is they activated it. Oh, so they, they, de as soon as I listed this pattern, it was deactivated instantly that I violated something and I have no idea. It's a, pattern for crochet care. I have no idea what I'm violating. So I sent messages. It then all of a sudden came up active again, and they deactivated it again. And now I'm worried because it's like it, it's like a hit against my account, like I'm doing something wrong. So I'm getting concerned because they could potentially lock my Etsy account. I'm like, okay, this carrot pattern is becoming to be not worth maybe putting on Etsy. I'm hoping I hear back. We don't know if it's it, on your blog though, right? It's, it's on your blog still for anyone listening? It's on my blog. It's on Ravelry. It's on, it's on everywhere, right? But they, Etsy is the one that automatically activated it and then deactivated it again. So not sure what I'm violating. We took out all the pictures with the jelly beans because it, it did say something about if there's little parts, but it, the system should know it's a, like it's a PDF pattern, not, yeah, not a physical not jelly bean. item that I'm selling. <laughs> We're not shipping jelly beans, anybody. <laughs> not, yeah, so I'm not really sure. I've never had that happen with Etsy before, so I'm not. Yeah. Oh, it's frustrating. Anyways, it? that's my little spiel on my carrots. Hannah, what about you? What have you completed in the last four weeks that you've liked? I don't think I've done anything. I don't think I've done anything. Yeah, I'll have to move. I'll go and get it, and I'll be back. Hang on a second. Okay. In the corner. Okay. So while she's gone, I'm going to throw this other comment here. Um, this is really cool, Amy, that you only started crocheting in January and you've made four hats, two oh. scarves, a neck cover, a top, a stuffed bunny. Um, but you can't seem to follow a written pattern. Have Do we have any tips? Yeah, for sure we do. Um, for one, that's amazing. Welcome to crochet. I'm so excited you're as excited about it as we are because that's kind of how we start out. It's like once you made one thing, it rolled into several. Yeah. Um, the other thing is when it comes to written patterns, sometimes it's best to learn when there's also a video component yeah. because then you can read it as you're seeing it on a screen and push pause and then really follow those instructions visually before you hit play again to understand like, okay, this is what I need to do. Also abbreviation lists are your favorite things. Yeah. So if it's ever really confusing, you can always write it out, not abbreviated by using that abbreviation key and it might make more sense then. Yeah. Or if you come on over to any of our blogs, we have some tips or tricks for that. And join our community groups because if any point there's a line that confuses you, you can always like ask in a community group um, for one of our patterns, like how, like if there's something you're getting stuck on, we can kind of help you out. There's been a couple times where it just takes a little bit of rephrasing. But for the most part, I think do patterns that have a video tutorial along with it, you're less likely to get stuck. Just be sure to follow along that written pattern so you're really grasping each line and what it says. Yeah. All right, back to you, Hannah. Definitely. Let's see it. it hasn't got its ends in, I'm afraid. But so you guys have seen this because I was making it when I was with you. So this mm -hmm. is yeah. it. That's so, I love that. so this is an adult version of a child sweater that I've just launched. So it's a top down raglan with a herringbone oh. moss stitch. Mm -hmm. And so, so I, I've done the adult, I wanted to make one for myself anyway, but my when I had it tested, all the testers that did the children's one were like, please, can you make it for adults? Because I want to make one myself. So I was like, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> so I now, but now I've made it in my size, I now need to work out how to make it in all the other sizes. So, um, so yeah, I've made it, but I'm not, I'm not in the next part yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. The stitch is so, so cool. This is like yeah. Yeah, you can't tell on screen, uh, like it, it, but once yeah, it all of her beautiful picture is laid out or flat lays, you'll really be able to see the detail of the stitches because there's so, it's so gorgeous. nice. The texture is amazing. It is. Mm -hmm. All right, Michelle, do you want to read this comment? Because I love this comment. 
Hey, Brianna, MJ, and Hannah. I love your channels, and I learned so much, even though I'm under 16. Woo, that's awesome. I'm currently love making that. MJ's Athaska Falls pull over. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I wish I would have really advanced my skills that young. It's just such a nice lifelong thing to have. Mm -hmm. And you guys, like, with crochet, you guys set it down and pick it up. There's no deadline. It's all about relaxing. That's amazing. Sure. I know on TikTok, like, there's a lot of young girls coming. I don't know if I love it. You're on like I see a lot of young girls on TikTok like making tops and cute little dresses. It's so exciting to see. Yes. Mm -hmm. I had to contact me on Instagram actually, and she was 15 and she was making one of my jumpers. I can't remember which one, but she was making one of my jumpers and she apologized. She said, I I'm really sorry, I'm only 15. Is it okay if I ask you for advice? And I was like, oh my gosh, of course it is. Please ask me. And she then sent me pictures that she made. She was so proud. Um, but she was like, but I'm keeping it a bit of a secret because I'm a bit embarrassed. I don't want to tell anyone. I was like, you should shout this from the rooftop. You should be Oh my so gosh, yes. <laughs> that not only taught yourself the skill off your own yeah. back, yeah. but now you have made yourself something to wear. Like, mm -hmm. that's amazing. So, impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive any age doesn't it like don't ever be embarrassed by the fact that you crochet yeah so our link when it comes to shipping costs so the the, the pdf if you're buying our pdf there's no shipping cost because it's an instant download if you're buying yarn that might vary from where you live. And so it's best just to go. I can't I can't tell you like the differences between shipping to different addresses, but you can always just throw yarn in your cart, use a coupon code and see what it would be shipped to you. It's always fun to do that anyway. I was doing that the other day. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, like yeah. I said, there is the threshold um, when you order from the UK that if it's over a certain amount, it's free shipping. So oh, nice. Okay. So go, go check that out. All right, let's see if there's anything. Oh, there's some love for the carrot pattern. Day. Michelle, people are loving the carrot pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Carrots, yeah, they are. Yeah, so hopefully we can get that on Etsy and get it sorted out. But if not, I mean, we have it available other places. So. Oh, I love this. Oh, so she ordered great. yarn many times from Mary Maxim in Canada. Never been deceived. Prices are awesome and even more awesome with the code. So yeah. true. This code is a limited time code, so be sure to go use it. Um, it's, I mean, even if you don't necessarily need yarn right now, it's a great time to stock up because the Mellow Spun in the Prism is already a dollar off, and you get yeah. the extra coupon um, discount beyond that. So it's quite crazy. Yeah. Because your prices have, I've noticed in the stores, the prices have really gone up. Yes. Yeah. They have, they have gone up quite a bit, like just for like your regular, you know, worse, like nothing fancy. Yeah. All right. Um, are there, I don't know if there are any catalogs for the UK. I would say go sign up and see. Um, oh, Hannah will go find out for us and then I, we'll get back to you on that. Good thing to ask. I have no idea. I, do, they, I oh, don't yeah. feel like anything over here, but, or maybe I just don't know about them. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, someone else says all Afghans are 25% off at Mary Maxim too. This is the time to stock up people with our code. Um, how do you find the crochet along? I'm going to go ahead and throw this back up on the screen. There's a QR code on the screen right now that you can go ahead and click or scan. I'm not sure, to be honest. I've tried it a couple times on my phone. Um, and also there's a link in the description of this. I can go ahead and see. Okay, this link I'm throwing in here is for the yarn. Now I got to go grab that link again for the crochet yeah. along. I can throw it in the comments again. There's one, mm -hmm. there's one comment I want to read out, Michelle. So mm -hmm. someone has said, Michelle, I replay your videos so much that the minute my dog hears your voice, she comes and stares at my phone. Oh my goodness. And the dog <laughs> That's so cute. That's so cute. Aww. I, I, uh, my, my, ch it's later in the evening for me here and my children are through, through this door and could burst through at any moment. But, as soon as they hear your two voices, they're like, where's my Michelle? Where's my Brie? Oh, <laughs> I love Brie it. <laughs> so cute. All right, so I'm going to grab some links. I'm also going to throw in the comments because someone's asking how do they find us. I'm going to throw links as I can in here if I can find them quick enough. Um, but also in the Mary Maxim group, any, if you're in any of the groups, you'll see us. Yes. Um, I'm just going to. Oh, there's someone asking if my sweater is available. The pattern will be available for this when I definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, 
oh, someone's going to make your hat, Michelle, is a messy bun version. Oh, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Really nice. That's awesome. I love seeing the, you know, if you want to make hats as messy buns or the other options you want to do, please share them because it mm -hmm. sometimes inspires other people like, oh, yeah, that's how I, I want to make another one like that, too. And these are so yeah. quick and simple to work up that yeah. you definitely have time to make more than one. But once again, we want to reiterate, this is not a race. This is not a hard and fast deadline. We're currently running a crochet along for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't mean that in two weeks we go away. We're not going away, anybody. We are here for life. We are life for crocheters. So <laughs> anytime we're going to be here. Um, we don't, you know, it, for us, like once you're in, you never get out. <laughs> we're never leaving. So the only thing that goes anything, away. We don't want you to feel stuck. Yeah. The only thing that goes away is the collection together. So when yes. the crochet line ends, the collection will no longer be available. So you'll only be able to purchase the purchase the individual patterns, which will always be available, the individual patterns. It's just we like, you know, just for bookkeeping sake, everything else, we like to yeah. run these, ha put the collection together, give you, you know, we put together neckwear collection as well, which is only available when you purchase. So all of that stuff goes away. But those patterns, you can always buy them individually. The YouTube videos will not go away. Like Brianna says, we're yeah. post any time in our yeah. groups. We're not going anywhere. No. Yes. But so I grab that collection yeah, and then really don't worry about deadlines. Yeah. You basically get you get a free pattern as well, don't you, if you buy the ebook. If you were to buy all three patterns individually, it would be much more expensive than buying the ebook. So if you like yeah. If you know you're going to make at least two of them, two of the hats, then buy the ebook because then you get the extra one free. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. They are definitely like a great collection together. And then if you want to grab that neckwear bump at checkout, that's also another collection we're offering it for a limited time. Um, only at checkout. <laughs> and it has a mystery pattern, which yeah. is super fun. I love that. I love a good mystery. Yeah. Oh, that was fun too. Mm hmm. All right, let me make sure. I'm starting to sweat in my office, ladies, so I may have to go soon. I had to turn off my AC because it was too loud. And um, I know one person said hello from Florida. Whew, yeah, it's hot here and it is freezing and tons and tons of snow everywhere else. So it's mm -hmm. very, I'm, I'm sorry to, now I have to go get my kids in a few minutes anyway. So a couple more questions here. Um, join as you go, Brim. I don't think I've ever done join as you go correctly. So I'm guessing this is top, this is probably a top down construction in join as you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if you're mm -hmm. on the All right. When you do join as you go, I think it can depend on the, I'm guessing what she's saying was skipping a stitch. It might be a certain stitch pattern for uh, the top down hats. I a lot of them that I have, there are no stitches you skip. I do the same stitch count at the bottom for the ribbing. Um, so I'll just explain mine because if she doesn't mind. Yeah. So that very first row that I chain out and I come back down, I skip that. The Basically, it's the stitch that's attached to the chain. So I skip that and slip stitch in the next two. But after that, because basically that first chain that you've worked in come back down, that counts as one row. So that already counts for that very first um, stitch. So then I go into, so if you can think of it that way, for every row you crochet, it should be one stitch along the hat. So I only skip that first one and then I slip stitch into the next two. And then as you come down, you're always just slip stitching into the next two. And then you kind of, you crochet up, which is one row, you crochet down, which is one row, which accounts for those two slip stitches that you did. So, but as you work around, like Brianna said, you should have like, so you should have one row for every stitch of that hat pattern. Yeah. So I always try to just look at this. You can tell which stitches have been slip stitched into and the other ones just look for that kind of little loop. And then the ones that don't have anything, then those are the stitches that you then do your slip stitch into. So someone said, does it make any difference if you chain one at the end before or after you turn your work? No. Because I'm going to take that a step further. If you only need to chain one because you're doing a single crochet or something, you don't even really have to chain. Mm -hmm. um, whether you do it, I've learned this over the years that like it depends on what you're doing. But for a lot of people, when they do a chain one, it helps because they can see that first stitch easier. 
But a lot of times if you just do a single crochet stitch right into that first stitch without chaining and keeping it slightly looser, that looks the same too without a bulk chain on the edge of it. So it really doesn't make a difference. Um, a lot of people say you should only ever be turning a certain way. And I got called out of this on my video once because when I turned, they're like, oh, you didn't turn, you know, clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever it was. But the reason why is because the way, oh, my camera's going off there. I've been on for too long. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, we can yeah. still hear you. All right. <laughs> my camera sometimes goes to sleep if I'm like on for hours at a time. Apparently, oh yeah, I was doing filming this morning. I guess I have been on for hours. At a time. <laughs> I'm working hard in my office, um, but it, I flip my yarn a different way. So a lot of times when I turn, instead of like turning everything one way, I actually just like turn my hook and flip my yarn. So there's yeah. really no right or wrong way to do something. Um, if it works for you and it looks good, it works. Like there's, yeah. there's, yeah, there's only, there's one exception that I do do it. And I, t I do my chain one after I turn is if I'm doing slip stitch ribbing. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. I really like that chain one because then when you're doing join as you go, you can use that chain one as your position for it. Yeah. And I just like how it, it like encases the yarn around your hook. But that's me being really fussy, and that doesn't have to, like, don't have to. Like there is no, there are no rules. This is the thing. But yeah. I think people worry about there being rules, don't they? And like I love that we're here to go. There aren't any. Just enjoy it. Yeah. It's and so I true because I I've been to quite a few conferences before, and I've had um, very well known designers sometimes tell me like, oh, you're not doing that right, or oh, you're doing that wrong. And then I explain why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. And they're like, oh, okay, well, I guess that does make sense. And like, if something works and it works better or it works, like it's okay to think outside of the box sometimes. Yeah. But also so, you even have to explain why you're doing it. Like, even if you don't know why you're doing it like that, as long as you like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yep. That's sort of the Love way to it crochet, though. It's not as, I think crochet is just a little bit more freestyle than knitting. If you're maybe a knitter, you can maybe yeah. a little more rules, but with crocheting, we just, yeah. yeah. There's more flexibility here for yeah, sure. More flexibility. I get told off all the time for um, by people for not holding my hook right and not doing like, I, I, sorry everyone. How dare you, Hannah? <laughs> How sorry. dare you? How dare you, Hannah, not hold your hook right? I switch back and forth sometimes in videos. Like I can do the pencil hold just as fast as I can do the knife hold. I so I, I don't know why, but I'll switch back and forth. For it me. might confuse people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what it is. Just whatever's comfortable for you. Yeah. Um, so if you have any other questions, feel free to comment. We're, we'll be in and out. Um, just like you, we have families. So I know, Hannah, you're probably like going into bedtime now. Michelle <laughs> and I are doing after school pickup really soon. Um, but we are around We're you know, we're checking our social media. If you have any questions, the great thing about community groups is sometimes before we can even get there, someone else will answer your question um, because we are worldwide with our amazing community and someone's usually awake. Someone's usually there. Um, and then if we see it, sometimes I see it and I'm like, Oh yes, I'm going to answer this one. And then I go to comment. I'm like, Oh, okay. Well, I guess you didn't need me. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Oh, I love Hannah's community. always up for the rest of us, but to bed early. I know. Yeah. Yeah, by the time Michelle and I wake up, Hannah's like, and I have completed all of I know. This. Hannah's <laughs> like worked almost a whole day by the time we get up and get rolling. Yeah. So true. And I see Hannah's newsletter come in at 1 a.m. I'm like, oh, Hannah. <laughs> I got oh, it way before us. If I'm um, awake, it's my work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's but it's great. so nice to be part of a community. I think it just takes crochet to that next level. That's more personal and fun. So be sure to post either in the Mary Maxim community group or one of our community groups or anywhere you can find us. Tag us on social media. We want to see everything you're doing for these hats. We want to see like yarn choices, ask questions like, should I make it in this color or this color? Should I do stripes? Whatever you want to do. Yeah. And then also show us your progress, your in progress, and then show us your finished um, project. We want to see it all. You do not need to be a fancy photographer. It doesn't matter no. if your cute little fluffy pet is in the picture with your yarn because they're on your lap. I love it even more. So just post and we want to experience this with you and have some mindful crochet. All right. Apparently my computer's like, bye, Brianna. <laughs> yeah. 
you're done. You're done. I just said there's Christina. Christina is there telling me that she holds her hook like me too. So yay. Perfect. <laughs> you always find when I know I get people comment on my videos too that I guess I'm a weird crocheter too. So people say that, wow, someone else that I actually hold it like me or crochet is like me. So you know, we have our people out there, Hannah. <laughs> We do, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we will be back again live probably next week. But until then, be sure to tag us on social media if you need anything. And we cannot wait to see your mindful makes. So we'll see yeah. you again soon. Bye. Bye, Bye.